begin now, and Luc Badeau is being held via held, uh, hold person, the spell. Renee, just like out of a corner of her eye, just looks over at Nathaniel and just goes, Maneuver 9. And she just yanks her dad over into the zone of truth, basically suplexing the poor man. <laughs> yep. <Just> yoink! <laughs> Onto the, into the rock and then into the, the group of people. Onto the mustache rock? Yep, onto the mustache rock and then on into the group of people. Okay, you Why yank him in. Time? He is now in the zone of truth. <laughs> Why is it every single time I have a mental breakdown, something always happens? Uh, I would like him to please make a charisma saving throw. He will make a charisma saving throw. And I will look down at him. It may be best that you do not resist this. So, which take a... What do you wish to know? Oh, it's not what I want. You have to deal with someone a bit more threatening than me. I'm going to take a step back. I'd like to know whether or not he succeeded. Are you able to know? Yes, I know whether each creature succeeds or fails on their saving throw. Oh my he, god. He willingly failed. Understood. Oh. Oh. And I will take a step back and let Renee, Renee approach. Renee. All right. I mean, seeing that as noted, she was really hoping that it wouldn't happen, but she's just going <sighs> to... Just walk in front of and just cross her arms and look down at Luke. Or I'm assuming EC is still standing up, just or looking at Luke and just say, Why are you seeking us out? He nods. Why? He just looks down for a bit. He's averting his gaze at you. I cannot atone for what I did, but I can do better. So I want this chance to, starting with the spine of death. What exactly do you know about the Spine of Death? You are familiar with a Pierce Bloodstride, yes? His, name His is first Pierce. name is Pierce? Motherfucker! <laughs> 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 Sorry. My book just... opens and I start writing. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes. His name is Pierce. Yeah. Uh, oh, Renee like, nods. Me and Renee. <laughs> Isn't... Like, that, that was me as a player saying that, but Renee's like keeping pretty relatively quiet and she'll just nod. It's like, it's being named fucking Arnold Killmonger. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> good start, good start. Sorry, he is, he, is a, he is an overconfident human who leads and recruits for the spine of death. And about a year ago, I broke out of my cell with the help of Bloodstride. Bloodstride sounds like it's something he chose. Like he couldn't think of anything else. I'm Why did he want you? Because I was a necromancer. He took me in, accepted me, taught me the wonders of necromancy. And it was all and Renee I clearly does not look comfortable with that. Ah, <laughs> uh, what exactly are their plans? How much do you know? <sighs> Your friend, the alchemist. They were a necromancer, no? What do you know about them? I pull out my gun and I point at him. Don't. Enoch. <laughs> Don't. Enoch, put the gun away right now. You do not mention him. Not one e word. Enoch, put the his gun name, away. I will... Put the fucking gun away, Enoch. This is not your responsibility. It is mine. Put your gun down. If you want to save your friend, my information is all you have. If you shoot me, that information dies with me. And he lowers it. Did Bloodstride send you? No. Is he aware that you came on your own? I assume it is only a matter of time. That he does. We see Bloodstide, he likes to count his sheep. And when he notices one has strayed far from the flock, he will not be happy. And why did you decide to stray when this man took you in because of the wonders of, that you can cast? Huh? The alchemist, did they tell you their life before the book? No. He said his inventions failed. Their inventions failed, I'm sorry. They say their inventions constantly failed until they began to use necromancy mm. to better understand things. Yes, they were mocked, they were ridiculed, and for all their efforts, you must have seen. How many people would humor them for their inventions? Because they were a failure. But only when they found necromancy were they starting to find their calling, their talents. Something they could finally feel accomplished at. And what did you do? You told them to stop. We told them to be better. That there were other ways. But did you accept them for who this they were not, at the moment? This is not the story that I asked you to tell me. I 
Why did you stray away if they're so wonderful in taking people in? Because where else do they go? Where do they learn of the dangers of necromancy? Where do they go to learn? There is what? nowhere. There is only why, the spine. Then why do you want to take the spine down? Ah, he looks up. If it's so great. Look at the world. That woman, the Fielborg. How did she react? When she learns there was a necromancer in her town. You aren't answering the question. I want the world to be better. By joining a cult that's kidnapping children? No. <sighs> hmm. You do no, not... No, nothing you say can justify that. No. I understand. But... A cult that's gra robbing graves of loved ones? You do not know the extent of their plans, and they do not know either. We are all fools. But You're nothing saying... can change if necromancers are forced to hide. I'm not going to... So you don't know the plan. You don't know what their plan, what their plan is. No. But I don't think they do either. And I don't, I don't think that is any less dangerous. Who would know? The Black Vane Queen. What is your goal here? I wish to make parley between the necromancers and the people of Belkanus. You have people that want you to do this, but not Bloodstride? <sighs> You're in a zone of truth. You don't have the choice not to speak. At least, of course, not unless you want Enoch to stop listening to us. I do not know the motivation of Bloodstride, but for so long in my life, I have been given hatred and shuns, as is the case for every member of the Spine when the world discovers who they are. And if they what cannot... Do you think that is? Please. Why do you think so many people hate Luna. necromancy? You Luna. are still in a generation that Luna. is... Luna, I know you're angry. I am angry mm. too. But this zone of truth only lasts so long. We cannot go on tirades. We need the information. Inc that then is correct, actually. Then may I step away, because I'm not going to be able to hold my tongue. Yes, my please, means. Enoch. Escort Luna somewhere. <sighs> I, I'm just gonna make my way to a bark beetle. All right. Damn the man who ever created parlay. Hmm. Continue. What? The hatred and the shunning has been the case for every single necromancer, including Bloodstein. Whether or not he believes it, the entire world will label him as the villain. I do not know if this is his thought, but if I were him, why try? Why even bother? So I am trying to be better than what tried. How many others agree with you? Out of everyone in that group? Or are you the only one who defected? I am not so sure, but if they are as kind-hearted and good as your alchemist friend, I'm sure that there are plenty. All of them have been shunned. All of them used to have family, loved ones. But they have nowhere to go but this spine. They simply want to find a place to belong. Is there anything else? Yes. I have in my pocket research notes of Kara Miharian. Every bloody fucking person on this continent has research notes from Kara fucking Miharian. If you may, please. Renee is going to get the notes. Yep, you reach in. And hand them to Nathaniel. <laughs> yep, you find the notes. You find three of them. Jesus Christ. I have been snooping around doing some espionage at the Spine of Death headquarters, trying to gather as much as I can around the kingdom. It unfortunately you... resulted in me being hunted down not only by Bradstide, but Thorn as well. All right, well, that's some new questions. Why does Bloodstride want these notes, exactly? I think he is hiding something. Well, that's an understatement. Fantastic, do you have a theory? No. It could be anything. Every time I try to 
convince him to be more diplomatic with the non necromancers in Belkanis, with the authorities, to shut down. Why would he want that? The longer that this feud goes on between necromancers and non necromancers, the more people have to take sides, which means the more people have to take his side. Exactly. But that, that's obvious. You're not telling me anything new. I'm what about Thorn? my best. What about Thorn? You said that Thorn is following you because of these pages. Mm. At one, once I was in the Jackhead Peaks, I had to fight him off. And that's the story, then. Mm. <sighs> I do not know what this creature is. But it is mm. not of the Spine's creation. I wouldn't have guessed. <sighs> Rene, this spell is going to end soon. I suggest that you have as many questions. Er, you, you ask him as many questions as you need to. And then come find me. I'm going to go wander off into the woods somewhere. Mm-hmm. <laughs> into the woods. And Nathaniel oh, was never seen again. Yeah. There he goes. <laughs> Squishy boy gets eaten by wolves. Anyway. <laughs> um, sorry, I had a little bit of levity before I go back into this. <laughs> hmm. He looks down. He's, he's having a lot of trouble facing you, Renee. What are you feeling right now? Fear. That this will not work, and things will simply go the way they are. What are you so afraid of? I am afraid that I will always be bad. That all necromancers will always be bad in the eyes of the people. And he looks up with somber eyes in the eyes of you. We can do better, René. I can do better. When did you decide this? Hmm? When seeing the encouragement that Bloodstride puts in this feud, the joy he gets from seeing people fight, the lack of care for his so-called students, I could not you stop d- and watch. So you didn't see that it needed to be changed that night? You, did you regret that at all? He looks up to you, you did. with stir- staring into your, into you. My only regret is that I did not prepare you first. She looks awfully, like, upsetty, Piscetti, but it's more oh, angry. Baby. Oh, baby. <laughs> um, Watch him. <laughs> and so, what she's going to do is just nod her head. Thank you for the information. Turn around and keep your hands behind your back. He nods. And she is going to take um, rope. I'm going to assume at some point we have rope. Yeah, I do have rope. Yeah, you so probably we have absolutely rope. Absolutely yeah, have, have, some, have at least some rope. So I'm going to tie his hands rope. behind his back. He cooperates. I'm sitting I, him on the rock. <laughs> eventually, I would like to return to the spine so that I can do more snooping. You are not returning to the spine. Not until we figure out what we decide to do with you. Because unfortunately for you, I actually learn to communicate when I have a problem. <laughs> the longer I am here, the more danger I am in, and the more... Fantastic! I don't care. We have to decide what we're going to do with you, and unfortunately for you, the last necromancer that we let go did not go so well as you have fortunately met. So, we have to figure out what we are going to do. You have decided what you did, and these are the ramifications of it. Fine. You're what? Finish your fucking sentence. I said fine. Okay, I you, for me, I was like, I thought you said I. I'm Sorry, like, my bad. The fuck? No, you're fine. I'll enunciate you're better. Good. You're good, yeah. golden. And, um, yeah, no, um, where are folks? Luna's well, I've wandered it. off uh. into the woods. Luna's cool. hitting oh, a tree. Have you actually wandered off into the woods? I, I I'm not. I'm, I'm on the edge of the woods. The don't okay. worry. Right. I want to be noticeable I, I so that st- when Renee's done, she can see me. Uh, a thought has popped into Enoch's head as he walks over and he points uh, towards you, Renee. Now that I think about it, when I, wasn't it your cut that invented parlay? I do not need this right now, Enoch. Fair enough. It steps back to the bark beetle. The social graces of an idiot. 
Last I checked, my intelligence is better than yours. And you didn't see that that was appropriate. That's, that's, that's astounding. That's a depressing thought. <laughs> Listen, I said I'm intelligent, not wise. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Okay, so mm -hmm. yes, who is going to participate in this plan for what to do with Luke? Uh... I'm gonna assume that I, after Renee kind of like walks off, she's keeping him like within her eyesight. But that's usually like a cue of like I'm dead interrogating. Like, yeah, takes steps back. He but, like, sits still and looking waits at him. patiently. He he does oh. he does glance around the area. It looks like he's staring at the sky. He's scanning the sky. Stinky. <laughs> Actually, I, Joe, uh, um, something has come to mind mm -hmm. because you noted that these. Uh, these beetles' wings are made of amber. They are hardened amber. Could there possibly be residual amber just laying around from their uh, from molting or anything? Um, what's your passive perception? Uh, I got a, I got a fourteen for passive. Let's see, because I don't know that it's normal for them to just drip amber naturally uh i mean i guess some like, could break off but yeah yeah yeah, yeah. uh I, with a 14 I, i'm looking passive, for amber specifically with a 14 passive yeah. you do you do find like little small shards maybe like finger sized from you know chipping off of their wings and stuff i am going to spend the next few minutes kind of collectively uh collecting it all together because something has something's popping up in my mind okay yeah enox the the gears in enox head are turning okay i can say you can go ahead and add um a handful of uh bark hide amber shards to your inventory because i, I actually need a, a price for this could i per se try and get about a hundred gold pieces worth of this stuff. Uh, well, you can either check with a shop, or you can roll me... Hmm. Like a, a general history check about what kind of, like, how this, you know, goes for okay. generally. Uh, a you, you, with a ten, a ten, you wouldn't really know. It's hard to, hard to guess. The best way to know is to go to a shop. I just need enough to make something. Well, and and I, better, I'm better asking find a shop. this because it's a it's an artificer feat. That's the thing, right? All right. So, who wants to join me for for conversation? I am on the edge of the woods. Oh, oh! I'm if confused. you're talking about I'm, if you're talking about using it as um, down. if you're talking about using it yeah. as components f for making that thing, uh, I would say the only way to find out is to do it. All right. As as much as I could possibly get, I'm talking. I'm talking at least two handfuls. <laughs> okay, y right, yeah. Uh, well, yeah. if there are two hand, I would say with that amount of passive perception, you are able to get one handful, because that's all that's around. Okay, so... Gonna... Yeah, for the record, I will approach Renee if she's mm -hmm. signaling for people to yep. approach. Yep, yep. Like and picking... she would also flag down Nathaniel, because it's just like, hey... If... Luna is picking bits of bark off out of her knuckles, because she was wailing on a tree at this point. She was. I will Let me see your hands really fast. I will look Sorry. confused. It's fine. It's all right. Normally, walking off into the distance means uh, come to me, not the other way around, but I suppose here I go. <laughs> well, well, listen, I am not letting this man out of my line of sight, unfortunately. Leave, Inaki going to join the room? The I'll, I'll say we can do your little, your little man. infusion after this encounter. Is that all right? Uh, He's not joining that conversation. He's already he's All already right. kind of lost in thought, okay, okay. considering, you know, he was he literally lost control, and now his brain is kind of thinking every which direction, so he can't he can't contribute. All right. So what do, what do you guys discuss? What to do with Luke? I say we take him to the nearest prison. I'm I'm for that. I can make sure he get he doesn't get out of hand. This is. A frustrating problem. Yes, we should take him to prison, certainly. Chester City is nearby. However, he is the closest that we will ever get to Bloodstride, considering he seems to know where Bloodstride's going. And considering Bloodstride can teleport, that is something that the rest of us are incapable of knowing. So we ask him in the Nether's one of truth later when you are 
recovered enough, and we just figure out where to go. Oh, I could I could cast another zone of truth. The problem is most likely he's going to return back to his group, and then they're going to wander off somewhere. And then from there, he almost certainly does not know where they're going to go next. Oh, are you trying to say we should let him go back? Yes, so that he can tell us what Bloodstride is, so that perhaps we might be able to get the drop on him in a place where he won't teleport away. Merde. I was afraid you were going to think that. And as for the rest of his people, we'll arrest them later. I'd like to be able to ask him one question before we make any decisions, if that's all right. By all means, are, are you all right? I want to know why my father's tomb was taken. Ask and away. if he knows, he might know. Afterwards, I have something I need to speak to both of you about, because it might end up being a problem. As a matter of fact, while you're speaking with him, I need to talk to Renee. Sure. All right, well, considering we're only ten feet from you, here. I wave my hand, and <laughs> a, a wave of, of, of pink sparkling light flies over the area, and I cast another Extending zone of it. truth. All right. While, while they were another having that conversation, minutes. in the meantime, Enoch, while you were thinking, you could hear a very familiar voice in your head. He's defenseless. He's right there. It'd be very, very easy. Just there like you did in the pause. sewers. <laughs> Anything you and do, Enoch? I, I close my eyes and I try to imagine the form. And can I physically stand across from this, uh, from this entity? Well, I mean, you can kind of imagine like, him in your mind. In my mind. Yeah. I go no to, nose to nose in my mind with this thing. I grab him by the lapel and I straight headbutt him. Give me a wisdom save. Here we go. Ba oh, God. Ba 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 fuck. <laughs> I fucking hate this goddamn roller. I think this is just your luck, buddy. <laughs> he, uh, he, I was having no fucking problems on Friday. <laughs> you, you imagine you take the form in, in this ethereal presence. You grab him, you headbutt him, and he stays stalwart. And you take seven psychic damage. All right, that's fine. Holy shit, He's sm dude! You see his face smiling back at you very well, <laughs> and his voice fades. Luna, you approach Luke. What mm -hmm. do you do? All right. I'm going to ask you a few questions, and I suggest you say, tell the truth. You're not going to like them. I know I'm not. I already don't like them. You said that you fought off Thorn in the peaks. Mm -hmm. Why was the spine of death in that graveyard in Yedzel? They were not. I was. Who? So you're the one who took the body? He nods without saying a word. <laughs> Why? I had Where to, is it? I had to defend myself and I used my resources. <laughs> I am sorry. I barely made it out alive, but I did what I needed to. I punch him in the face. Ooh. I'm sorry, you Renee. You punch him and you, you hear a little crack and he coughs. <laughs> Do I see this? Uh, that yeah, it's in, it's in clear as day. It's in plain sight. That was my father. A man that fought necromancers for this country. How dare you? Where is he? He was taken down by Thorn while I was trying to escape. And Where is he? Chopped into bits, likely eaten by coals. I'm sorry he did not serve such special purpose. I hit him again. You punch him again. He now spits out a little bit of blood and a tooth comes out. <laughs> Luna, for all she's been, is a very composed person. Tears are shrieking down her face. She is fucking furious. And she's going to start unsheathing absolution. I and it goes uh, ice yeah. cold. No. As, yeah. It yep. goes ice cold as it was <laughs> when you were at the Jagged Peaks. At feeling that she'll stop. 
and draw my gun, and I and I just point it in that general direction. I'm not saying to who. My hand is pointed at you, Luna. Does the sword do anything else? Nope. It is besides. simply ice cold as it was when you were at your father's statue. Luna is, after a long minute, she lets go of the sheath, spins on her heel, and starts walking towards this tree. <sighs> but she is a wreck. I watch this as it passes by. I'm going to look to Enoch, and I'm going to, <laughs> like, motion my head over towards Luna, like, console her. <laughs> and then I'm going to look to Renee, because we need to have a conversation. Oops. All right. Word wordless agreement. <laughs> Where, well, we, we can have that conversation now, since Luna and Enoch had their little moments. Right. All right. Okay. So I'm going to walk into the woods far enough away that we're out of earshot. Right, right, right. Right, so, your father, what do you expect to do with him? I expect to put him back in prison. Fantastic. And this is, of course, after we have we use him to capture Bloodstride. Every part of me wants to just put him in there and not have to worry about it. Except for this part. And I point Ex towards her head. <sighs> she just nods. Because unfortunately, best is the only thing that is close enough, and I hate that you're right. Fuck! She's just <laughs> kind of like. Yes, it's puffing. a curse. Yes, it's a curse. But another thing that I'm right about, you're not going to like even more. Just tell me already. I'm already in a very pissy mood. Just make it worse. Come on, just, <laughs> like gestures forward. Like, all right, let's do it. Your father is right. And the longer that the feud between necromancers and the rest of the world stays, the more likely we are to have a second war against them. It's impossible to stifle something like that. Magic is free expression. As painful, painfully dull as it is that they've chosen that. If we it's want to see the continued longevity of Melkinus, then we are going to have to convince others to reconsider their position. Does it have to be him that convinces us? Oh, absolutely fucking not. You can do whatever you would like with him once we've used him to get bloodstride. I don't give a shit about one person. I give a shit about all of them. The other necromancers that want to follow him towards a, a promised land where everyone is nice, perhaps we cannot guarantee that. But if we were to make that past disappear and give them something new, it failed with mirth. Perhaps it'll fail again. But we have to keep trying. Reintegrate them. And then, perhaps, figure out some new plan. What do you expect to do with the ones who don't paint as pretty as a picture as mirth wanted to? No, you know what she did. You throw know them in the dungeons. I don't... I, th this is not a bleeding heart. This is facts. Those who want to find peace can find it with us. After all, the organization was founded on second chances. <sighs> Fuck. She's just running her hands through her hair. And being perfectly honest, if I turned away every necromancer that begged for forgiveness, then we would lose half of our staff. I do not even want to know how many there are. Good. Don't, don't fucking... Uh, Compartmentalization uh, of information is very important. That's what but, I expect from you. Yes, of course. <laughs> but I want to also share information because I trust you. Enough with it. And I trust you enough to go with this crazy plan of yours. Mm. Good. So, we move forward. We use your father for whatever we need. Then we throw him into whatever dark pit you come up with. And all of the people that follow him go to us. She nods. Okay. Very good. Okay. Just keep him as fucking far away from me as possible. Oh, don't worry. He's going to have a headache by the end of this. Larger than yours. And I turn <laughs> to walk out of the forest. 
You bastard. She just follows after him. <laughs> All right. Meanwhile, Enoch and Luna, you guys want to have a moment? Luna is crying her eyes out right now. Um, she's not okay. Like, not okay, TM. So, unless Enoch wants to say something, she's not really in a position where she can, like, acknowledge other people around her. He does roll up just a bit. Uh, you'll notice that she is hugging uh, the sh- uh, she's taken her sheath off her back that has absolution. She's hugging it to her body. I know what that means to at least you. Just a few moments ago, I was I'm still struggling to figure out how to handle all this. And I don't blame you in any of the slightest on what you have intention for. And he sits down next to her. How can somebody who's given their entire life to protecting a place, to protecting innocent people from a magic that's so easy to make evil, how come they can't just be left to rest? Why are they seen as a tool? These were people. These were... These aren't... Just tools, shells left on the ground. They have stories, they have names, they have identities. They're people's children, they're, they're p- parents themselves. Why can't they be left to rest? I pull out objection and some of my tools. And I begin to kind of take it apart on the grass. The thing is that I personally understand how things can be perceived as tools. I'm a tool myself. Not in the, uh, not in the humanizing way, but more in the idea that I am here for some ethereal reason beyond my capability of understanding. And taking the, uh, the barrel end of the gun begins etching things into it. I don't think my father's gone. I think... I think that what... <sighs> it started in Yetzel. The weird... This thing. This... My sword acting strange, moving on its own, getting cold. That started in Yetzel when his tomb was disrupted. I think that whatever that man did had to have done something. It had to have disturbed his rest. Or... I don't know. I don't know what it did, but the timeline makes sense. And... Luna. What? I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to make sense of a world in which this is... full of very confusing and moving parts. I Mm. just want my father to finally be able to rest. That's all I want. And I understand. And he puts the gun back together finally. And you can see all the etchings and the little sigils along the gun begin to glow. There are those who believe that there are tools to be used. And then there are those like me who are a tool to be used. And then there are those who deserve to rest, like your father. And there are some who don't deserve that kind of rest. Like that man who sits in the middle of a field, in the open, ready to die. And... He hands the gun to Luna. She's not going to take it. And he just puts it on the ground next to her. It's okay. You can hear a voice in your head, Enoch. Weak, all of you. Weakness is by definition a lack of strength. The strength to resist is far greater than the wild idea 
of an uncontrollable fire. All right. And, and he's uh, saying that out loud. Ooh. Uh, Luna's already started walking away. Okay. Nathaniel and Renee and Luna and Enoch. we're all back, yeah. Yep. You're all... Uh, all right. Back. Renee will uh, pat Luna's arm and just uh, give her a quick look of, like, you good fam. But it's also sort of like a comforting, comforting pat of just, like, the presence of I'm, I'm like... She, uh... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she nods... But uh, she is not good, fam. It's easy to see she's not good, fam. <laughs> Gives her gentle, like, thumb rubs, like, up on her arm, just as, like, a comfort. Right. While you do head back, um, you can hear footsteps approaching. And uh, there are two humanoids who get close, and it's the ones you recognize. You hear the footsteps, and you hear a familiar voice. Hey, uh, just, uh, just check it back to see if y'all's heart-to-heart is over. I hope this ain't a bad time. To- oh! No tail. <laughs> Perfect I, timing. I'll let y'all handle whatever y'all need to handle. And also Oliver is there too, which I have art for now. Uh, Yay! Yes. Let hey. me oh, sorry, see it. Olive, not Oliver. Uh, I, Olive. That is Miss Oliver there. Oh, yep. oh you've lied to me. <laughs> oh, it's so nice. Pretty. So flower I love, yeah. I love plant-based designs. Yeah, that so is Olive, cool. the tree folk, the tree folk <laughs> shepherd who has been shepherding all the bark-eyed beetles. Um, and at seeing a spine of death robed man, she immediately takes a few steps back. Corpse mage. Don't worry, he's already arrested. We are going to take him. Arrested? Adventurous, you must destroy this man. A spine of death member among so many bark hide beetles is so dangerous. He might as well be a match in a pile of sawdust. Yes, so I'm going to pick up the match. Mm-hmm. She, she under- grumbles and... Just goes to her, just kind of like step in front of a bark hide beetle as if to like put an arm in front of it. That's oh. good. And Renee's just going to put up hands like, please understand. We know what he's capable of doing, which is precisely why we are going to take him away. You're not going to have to worry about it, I promise you. No tail twiddles his thumbs a little bit. So, uh, does that mean he doesn't want to buy anything? He does not want to buy uh. anything. I don't Actually. think that's... I got you. It was just worth a shot. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to turn to Luke. Did you want to buy anything? <laughs> Actually, no tell. I'm looking to sell. Ooh, what you got? Uh, I just got a bunch of stuff that I don't need. Uh, and while, while you're going through your pack and stuff in your bag, um, and you guys are just kind of like getting Luke to his feet, you hear a screeching across the sky. Oh no, not now! I... Oh no! Not now! Shelby's okay. like, oh, rotten luck! Shelby's like, oh man? no, but Bloon is like, oh yes, I want to kill. And oh, Luke no. merely I'm looks sorry. up to the sky and closes his eyes. It is here. Good. And I would like to draw both my swords, please. Right, yeah, Fuck. everyone can get uh, ready for combat. As and me without my spell slots. And a figure drops down from the yep. sky into the dirt ground, making a mound mm-hmm. just like appear like a small shockwave of dirt go around them. As before you is mm-hmm. the armored figure. Okay, and first up is Nathaniel. What will you do? And all the, uh, all the NPCs will all go at the same turn. All right, well, Nathaniel is going to give Thorne a treatise about why Qui-Gon is an amazing character in Star Wars. But more importantly, <laughs> uh, I am going to do what I... So, getting back into the game, I am going to turn to Renee. Well, it seems that I have lied to you. I'm going to bring my hands up. Pink light is going to shoot out and connect with everybody else as I cast my mantle of inspiration, giving everybody 5 HP, temporary HP, and letting you immediately use your reaction to move up to your speed. This is going on... Uh, Enoch, it is not going on you because you're already super far away, but it is going on the four of us who are very close to Thorn. And I'm going to say to Renee, get your father out of here. And then I'm going to move. Uh, well, fuck it. Let's go this way. Oh my god! Luna, no! You what? <laughs> Luna, I didn't you ruined, what? You ruined okay, my line of shit. sight. I okay, told you guys. I told you guys. Told you guys what she's doing, and she's going to yell at you that she will distract him while you guys get him away. Fantastic, we both can. <laughs> oh what my about god. Luke? What, what about Luke? Oh, fuck. 
Uh, does he have man- mantle of inspiration? I gave it to myself, Renee, him, and Luna. I did not give it to Enoch because he's already far enough away. I gave it to the four of you <gasps> so that you can get him out of here. Oh, you bastard. I told you. I, son of a. This was in the dialogue. I know it was in the dialogue. I'm just angry because Renee's probably like, I was going it, to say the same thing about you, Mr. No Spaslots. <laughs> but she'll uh, fucking take her dad, I guess. This is the plan. While yeah. you while you do <laughs> run with uh, Luke, he Look will say way. he will say to you, "Unbind me so I can escape. I can do better good in the spine." She's like, <laughs> she looks at him like, "You are not li- like, you are not leaving until we're all out of this alive." <laughs> Fuck off. He's, so yep, he yeah, will no, he's coming with yep. me. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Oh God, where'd the initiative go? Oh, this name, way, away yeah. from Thorn. His name is Luke. The yeah, owl house has Luke. failed me. L U C Luke. You know, like Jean, like Jean Luc, okay. like Jean Luc. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So that was my uh, bonus action, doing that. Uh, I am then going to turn to Thorn, and from my coat, I will retrieve one of the necromancer's handbooks. <gasps> oh uh, no! Oh, oh you son of a bitch! This is awesome. So yes. Thorn's head snaps in your direction. No. And locks onto you, Nathaniel. Come, barbarian. Let us see what you can do to a real wizard. Cool. And I'm going to take steps off into the woods. Mm. I need a I need a bigger map. Okay, Enoch, your turn. I I just saw Nathaniel just like drop a pink cloud of smoke and said deuces. <laughs> 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 All right, uh, I am going to make my way a little over here. I am not wasting any time with this. I am bamfing out the wings, and I am going to. Uh, I'm going to shoot Thorn. I'm just trying to bring him down, like, like to the best of my ability. Okie dokie. Yep, that hits. It's going to be a twenty-five. Twenty-five. That's a high and roll. I am. And I am hitting him with a winging shot. All right. So he needs to make a strength saving throw, which they make it easily. Yeah. Uh, yeah. However, Oof. you know that damage does go off, and you can see that it pings. It makes a dent in the armor, and then the armor reforms itself back outwards. Oh. Oh. That's fuck. Oh. That's fuck. I thought I was <laughs> fucking good, but that's fuck. <laughs> Luna's in an awesome position, guys. I'm uh, glad I did this to myself. Uh, anything else you're going to do, Enoch? Uh, uh, yeah, expedious retreat, bonus action, <laughs> self. Did you not use your bonus action to get your wings? Oh, yeah, no, I, yeah, to get the wings yeah, out. I forgot. My bad. Yeah, no, that's it. That's all I Luckily had. Luckily for that's you, Thorn has proven he does not know how to fly, only fall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that. no, you're right. Holy shit. Next. Oh, no. Um, are the NPC's turn where uh, Olive just calls to the Barkhide Beetles. They all start to get their wings and get the hell out. They all start to fly Smart. away. She hops on Smart. one. No Tail hops on the same one that she is, kind of just Aww. piggybacking. Aw, nice. good. No Tail is safe. And uh, they... Whoops. Uh, they all start to fly off, and uh, No Tail just shouts out, Yo, better not die! You're my favorite customer! <laughs> I love him! No Tail! Oh, are we the only customers he's ever had? No Tail, you game stopped me, you fuck! And he did game stop you. Yeah. Uh, however, two Barkhide Beetles go in and try to tackle Thorn on either side with their horns. What a oh, good no. idea. Babies. Oh, Thorn, if you hurt these babies. Thorn, if you hurt these babies. Well, they're about to be dead. And Thorn, seeing Nathaniel run, firstly, is going to take one arm and bash one of the Barkhides away. Yep, and bashes it so hard, Thorn breaks its horn, and you can see sap bleeding oh. out from oh, the impact. No. <laughs> oh. And the second attack, Thorn is going to throw their axe at you, Nathaniel, and it starts to spin, oh. f- 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 chopping a couple Shit. of the trees on the way. It just misses you. You hear the you hear the spinning, <gasps> and it misses oh you. Oh my god! 
and it goes past you. However, Thorn is going to use a special feature to call oh, no. it back. It has returning. <laughs> As it swings straight at me, I duck underneath, grabbing my hat to pull it down, and I feel a, a slight tug as it passes over me, and I pull my hat off of my head and look to see that the tip has been ripped off. Oh, no. <gasps> no, oh, not, the no. Hat. not the hat. It narrowly not missed you that first time. However, the second time, on the way back. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. You no. Receive an unex- to, this guy just has the Leviathan axe. Are you serious? You receive okay. an unexpected blow from the axe. <gasps> and you take 12 slashing damage as it cuts you okay. across just like the arm <laughs> that you are holding uh, the book. Um, squeeze? Uh, and it comes back Pardon? and Thorn catches it and is going to start hovering rapidly towards you. Luna, you have an attack of opportunity. I'm taking it, I'm taking it, and I will be invoking oh. Sentinel if I do. All right, show me the attack. No! Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Oh, bitch, I'm coming after you. Bitch, I'm coming after Thorn you. Thorn starts dashing. Not not literally dashing, but like, you know, air dashing like in Smash Bros. There, and does get nicked by one and of the bark bison, hides. bison, motherfucker. However, this bark hide just kind of starts to chitter and kind of like taking one of its legs and kind of brushing on its now broken horn and just kind of buries its face in the ground in pain. That moment when you waste all of your good spells on Zone of Truth. And uh, Luke is- for this. Luke just continues to try and get you to listen to uh, him, Renee. Please, I can teleport out of here, but I need my hands. Mm, I am getting stronger every fucking day. If you screw me over again. If I make another mistake, I die. I sink. That is good enough collateral, yes. She's just glares at him. Fuck. And God. now it's um, your turn, Renee. But oh fuck! I do not like any of this. I don't approve of any of this. But uh, she does have a crossbow, so she actually gets one of the arrows from it. I hate you. I hate you for making me do this. Um, she will heckin' undo the rope. She'll use the head of the arrow to just slice through it, make it quick. Ah, I'll say that will be your bonus action. Cool, thank you, appreciate you. She just undoes it, but the look on her face is not happy at all. Luke doesn't face you, once again, simply rubbing his wrists where the ropes were. And he says, I will make things right, even if you do not forgive me. Just go. And she will use her movement to go this way. Okay, okay. Or I guess up this way, because... Luke will I, teleport away on his turn. I, I at least know that I can somewhat keep an eye on him, but also, fuck. <sighs> I'm counting on him actually doing what he's saying, which I don't like. Anything else you would like to do on your turn? You have an action. Um, I'm far. Oh wait, I'm within 50 feet. Um, I, I do I see some red on that yellow? Yeah, you do. Oh, you son of a bitch! I am going to go ahead and uh, cast healing word. Healing word is a bonus action, but you used yours. Oh fuck. I can't use it as an action, son of a bitch. Nope. Ain't nothing like a shatter spell. <laughs> Hadouken. Wow, that's okay. good damage. That's better no, than it's... it has been, but there was still a one in there. Oh, God. Yeah. I mean, that's better than the six it did last time. I cast it, at the, yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, you shatter and the sound rings. You can see the armor shake and ring like a, like a bell. <laughs> and a couple of the trees and bushes kind of are pushed away by the loud sound, and Thorn kind of has, just like stutters ever so slightly mid-flight, like, but continues to she go. Probably, uh, she had probably like ducked out to it and then ducked back in slightly, just to like, oh god, hopefully he doesn't see me again. Hopefully, <laughs> please don't see me again. Don't see me again. Yep. <laughs> Plus. Okay, Luna. Okay, okay, so first, Move 30 feet to get here. Yes, yes. And 
Now, oh no, I think it's here. Doesn't matter because Echo Dad time. Echo Dad. Echo, Echo dead. dead right in front of him. And the really cool thing about Echoes is that I can take my attacks from their side. Go and I'm going step to yet keep taking... <laughs> Yep, yep, yep. Uh, I can take attacks from his side. Um, and I don't need to take an attack from my side, I don't believe, to unleash my incarnation, but I'll read that in a second. Because uh, I have two attacks now. Nice. So, one. Nice. That hits. Two. Oh. Yes, that yes! also hits. Yes! <laughs> When you take an attack, he, uh, technically I'm still taking an attack, so this is a third attack. Here we go. Absolution. Nah. No! no! The good luck had to end, but that is two solid smacks. It is two that solid is smacks. Smackies. You two smacks psh, psh, make uh, kind of cuts across the armor. You can see you've added scratch marks. Are you too much of a coward to fight me first? Very and that's smart. my turn. Nathaniel, you took a pretty hefty hit. What are you doing? Uh, I am going to move out from the tree, holding the book up ahead of me, and I'm going to call out to Thorn. That was a good shot, but as you see, you have not killed me. And then I'm going to cast Mantle of Inspiration on myself and do another, <laughs> basically the exact same thing. <laughs> okay, do I need to make a bigger map? Oh, God. Here's my uh, here's my reasoning is because you can tell Thorn is gonna keep chasing you down, so I need to make sure oh, that there is no. a combat map available if they catch For you. Whenever, oh no! Understood. Well, goodbye. Where's right. Bloodstrike <laughs> when we need him so he can take us through the teleport? Uh, I, I listen. If I get close enough to Thorn, I'm just gonna bamf him with a crystal. All right. Enoch. Your turn. Oh, th well, that was actually kind of my idea, too. Yeah, th hit him with the fucking crystal. We have the crystals for a reason. How, how big of a radius is it when it hits? Uh, it is I... a, it counts as a ranged attack, like with a dagger. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit, then I should have oh, done well, that then... last time. Well, fuck, my I bad. didn't know my that. My bad if I, I wasn't clear with that. Well, the... All good. Well, it's, it's a all good, good. It's a good thing that I am a, dex, I'm a dex fighter. Uh, so, as a bonus action, I am going to cast Expedious Retreat on myself. Okay. And that'll be useful for next turn. But I am getting at least thirty feet in from where I am. So about to there. Does that not so, count? Uh, Does that not go on top of your normal movement speed? I'm not sure this will this will do it, but I'll certainly try. Come on, Gil. Gil, God. It's okay. We got a second. Fuck. It's okay. Second chance. Second chance, and I go. It's fine. Okay. You throw the vanishing crystal, and Thorn is just too fast, as uh, they fly ahead, and you just miss your target. It does land in the grass, and you are able to pick it back up. It has not gone off. <gasps> Oh, oh, good. Oh, so it's not like a grenade with the pin already pulled. Good to know. I'll say it's like over here. All right. Uh, that That's literally everything. That's all I got. Okay, okay. Next, the NPC's turn. Luke is getting the fuck out of there. He conjures smart, a smart few man. things. And a portal appears <laughs> nearly identically to how uh, Bloodstride has done it many times before. And he steps through it. He leaves the fight. Nexus and uh, the Barkhide beetles simply tend to their wounds. That's okay, babies. You do no, good, babies. You, you did very good. You didn't you did have good, to babies. fight a bad man. They go a bit away from the fight, but not totally away. They haven't flown off. Poor beetles. And uh, Thorn continues to... Actually, Thorn Attack is going to do something. Oh. Thorn stops mid-flight, kind of crouches down while hovering just a few feet in the air, and <laughs> launches themselves up. Uh, attack of <gasps> They're gonna go right in front of Dev. No! Yes, I attack of no! Attack, I attack of up, and attack I will be in I will be invoking Sentinel. 25, natural 20, natural 20. <gasps> oh! Oh! <laughs> He's going nowhere. And he leaps into the air, you grab his <laughs> as, ankle and just bring as it Thorn away. blasts off kind of leaving a little rippling of the ground and grass beneath them. Your echo slices with the sword deep into the leg of Thorn as they're about to blast and yanks them down to the ground. Oh, delicious! Oh. So delicious! Oh. Ah. 
<laughs> and Thorn now turns their head to I'm you. I'm so proud Luna. of you. <gasps> oh no. I'm ready for this. And because Echo Echo takes your attack of opportunity, yes. Actually, yes, no. Movement yes. speed is zero. Thorn can't go. Thorn can't move shit. <laughs> yeah. He <can't. laughs> ha. He's going Joke. nowhere. <laughs> Jokes on you, Thorn. Luna hasn't even used her mantles of inspiration yet. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Stupid idiot. <Yeah. laughs> and Thorn is simply going to throw their axe at you, Luna. That's fine. Oh, oh. No. AC seventeen. AC seventeen. Oh, just enough. Okay. Oh, no. That's, that's okay. I have temp HP to compensate. You do have temp HP. No. You take 18 slashing damage as this thing, Ooh. you parry, oh. you, you hold the sword to block, but the force of it is so hard, it pushes you about an inch down, an inch down into the ground and just like pushing you, your feet skid across the grass ever so slightly. You said it was 18? 18 damage. Okay, that's the lowest I've been. That's still fine. That is Thorn's turn. Renee. I, I've clearly seen that Nathaniel has gotten the hell out of Dodge. Yep. But also, I don't like that they can jump however they want. <laughs> I don't appreciate that. I don't know what Thorn is, and I don't think that the spell would actually work on Echo Dad. Now, if you would like, you can spend a bonus action to make a martial check. I, I don't mind doing that. I would appreciate that, actually. Yeah. Let's, yeah. I would like to see what, what specifically... Thorn is mm -hmm. Thorn. <laughs> yep, you can give me a, a martial check, so you can just roll straight wisdom. Straight wisdom. Copy that. Take a nice. look. You, I okay you peer this. in. There's definitely something in that armor, and it's definitely something humanoid. This, okay. This armor, although it seems to have magical properties, is likely just very well proficiently made armor of some kind. Okay. So basically, it's just a gamble on whether or not this thing is fey or not. This motherfucker, the black swordsman, I swear so to I'm gonna God. move this way. I know I was going to go out, get out of the way, but <laughs> seeing how big, wacky that hit was, I, ha I still have spell slots. I will assist. Okay. Um, we're going to try. We're going to try because I have enough spells that I don't mind using it. At well, I the first level is not a lot. <sighs> We're gonna do a second level um, of sleep. Okay, show me sleep. We're gonna see sleep. if it works. Show me how Again. the roll is. Oh, wow. dirty. Okay, that's not that bad. With that's actually pretty decent. 22 is not high enough. Oh, bis I, I, I get this additional 2d8 for each spell level above the first. I get two more d8. Ah, roll your 2d8. Uh? That was 2d8, that was 2d8. Yeah. 38? Uh? Thorn seems unaffected. Fuck! Mm. Okay, so sleep oh, so we can't work. sleep. It's failed me, which is understandable. Oh, it's 36. Have a nice day. Okay, then um, I use my bonus action and I use my movement. I can't go anywhere. I'm I'm here. Okay. I'm here for moral support. Luna. Uh, yeah, no, I want to take out the banishment crystal and uh, try to smack Thorn with it. Okay. Show me the roll. Yeah, you can do it at melee if you so wish. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm hoping, would you say this would count for two attacks to try to make this happen? If you would I'm like, yeah. To, that's what I'd like. So can I just, um, do you just want me to roll absolution and we'll just pretend, I guess? Um, well, give me a, a, give, has a, certain give me a strength because you're essentially hitting him with a rock, which I don't <laughs> think. That's fair. I'll count that that's as fair. an improvised <laughs> weapon. Okay, no. Okay. 18? 18 is enough. Yes! Ah! Oh, you take really the crystal him. in your palm and you smack it, crushing it between your palm, and you see the crystal burst open. In fact, I'm going to need you to make a constitution saving throw. Oh, oh. shit! Oh, well, well Luna. And your mm -hmm. echo immediately dissipates. Eight. 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 Uh -oh. Oh, you, are, you are pushed back and knocked on your ass ten feet as the crystal explodes and makes an orb around Thorn. And let me just this. An orb Who around Thorn. Pokemon? You take three damage. Not a lot. You take three oh, okay. three damage. And there's now a, a cloudy orb bursting with lightning, all absorbing Thorn and <laughs> Thorn is sucked into the crystal and falls to the grass inside the crystal, which begins to shake and you can see mm -hmm. lightning crackling inside. 
I'm uh, going to. <laughs> we I have would a like pocket to... angry I, man in this. I will say, everyone. Um, I'll say you can keep taking your turns. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I, I wanted to say that if I saw it worked, I'd start yelling at everybody to run because it's not going to hold for long. I can't run it, yell that in the apartment. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, that we need to leave it there. Taking that with us is taking Thorn with us, and we shouldn't do that. Yep. I'm going to roll a few things for Thorn. That will depend on how much we actually have to go through initiative. Um, oh, no. While I'm doing that, figure out what is the maximum amount of movement you guys can do each turn? I know Nathaniel is 90. <laughs> At least yeah. for one more round. Uh, yeah, Lynn is 60. 60 with all of your I'm features. 60. And I will say, Enoch, for simplicity's sake, you did go and pick up the crystal, I assume. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you get your uh, banishment crystal back. Okay. Who, who, who'd be willing to take a, to take a fly? Who, who wants to fly real quick? I uh, mean, does that have your movement if you pick somebody up or? I'll let him roll okay. for it if you would like to roll like athletics. Yeah. I, preferably, I'd rather just run. Same. To you guys. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, here's the good news. With basically my bonus action, I could take a dax, dash action. I could take another dash action. So that's 120 feet. Mm, that's very there fast. There goes. <laughs> <laughs> basically, you guys see the wings just kind of click, 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 click. It, and adjust and just rock it out of there. Pardon, I'm Yeah, rolling. so it's Luna I'm, and Renee who are in the back. <laughs> Luna I'm is making sure Blue she's Angel staying speed. behind Renee. I will say that she's making sure that she is in between Renee and the direction of Thorn. Aw, appreciate you. Must protect the squishy. Not that squishy. Uh, compared to Thorn, you are. Valid. <laughs> just like, I, I just need to know how how much movement you guys can do a turn. So let's let's okay. go through let's go through the roll a call. Turn. Luna, what is your maximum amount of speed you can do a turn? Sixty. Sixty. Uh Nathaniel, yours is ninety, yeah. Uh it's gonna be sixty while he's in the Pokeball. I'm not wasting a mental inspiration. Okay. He's... All right. Uh yeah. Enoch, yours is one twenty, right? Yep. And you can you can use that like double dash like as many times as you want, right? For the next ten minutes, as long as I have Expedious Retreat for the next uh, 10 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes is all you yeah. need. Um, and Renee, your max speed? 60. Okay. I would say, going that speed a turn. See, I was rolling a lot for Thorn about how many times they try to get out of the crystal and how many turns it would take for them to get out. Oh. And how many turns. Oh, please stay in there. Please. Keep shaking, Pokeball. <laughs> Keep shaking. And I'm going to have everyone do a single skill check. This is going to be a skill challenge. A oh, single God. skill check <laughs> of your choice. These have not to gone see, well for me. To, to see how well you manage to escape Thorn, you know, so far away that it will take more searching to find you. Mm. I have one of those little smoke grenades. You do. If I pass by Thorn, could I just drop a smoke grenade in front of that thing so he doesn't know which direction we're going? You can. You leave the smoke bomb there and book it with with your friends. So yes, uh, starting with Luna, we will do our skill challenges. All right. Could I just make an athletics check to run like fucking hell? Yeah, run like hell. (laughs) Go ahead. This is to try and push you beyond oh your limits. Oh my god, this is the third skill challenge that I have fucked up. What is wrong with me? You are trying to push yourself beyond your 60 foot a turn limit, but it's oh. uh, it's too, the blow from the axe has slowed you down, it seems. I, I lost a lot of blood, I guess. You lost How a many lot of blood. And Nathaniel. Uh, I am going to try to slip between the trees. I would like to roll investigation to find the most awkward and confusing path that I could take so that I could lose thorn inside of the forest. You may. That sounds reasonable to me. Natural 20. That's of a course natural course. 20, 20 <laughs> investigation. Natural 20. Perfect. Holy shit. Perfect he, comparison. He walks by. He sees all of the trees. <laughs> he continues moving. Little does he know, one of those trees was wearing a yellow wizard's robe. <laughs> <laughs> you know. All right. Uh, I'm just... Yeah, no, I'm, All right, I'm Renee. booking it faster than Nathaniel. And for um, you would like to do. I am going to 
start breaking down some branches in a certain direction, but then like run the opposite way. Basically, like I'm going to use the idea that we were all frantically running by places and try and show that we went a different direction mm. to try and confuse him. And I was Leaving wondering if I could use false deception trails. to do that. Yeah, deception. Can I do that? I would say, yeah, that's a perfect use of, that's a very Ooh. creative use of deception. Go ahead. Very Thank nice. You. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. I will take that. That three successes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please. Yeah, yeah. Please. With the combination of your rolls, you manage to escape Thorn. <laughs> for now. Oh, thank God. <laughs> you travel so far as to feel as though when looking behind you, you don't see any sign of them trailing you as you are far from the area you once were, booking it as fast as you can. If Thorn escaped, they're not within the line of sight that you could possibly see. What the fuck was that? Uh, I know who the fuck was that, but what the fuck was that? I, I don't know. <coughs> God, I don't know. I'm going to burst out of a bush somewhere. Yeah, ah, uh, fuck, melt, do not scare him like that, you son of a bitch. But she's basically saying that to cast healing word at second level. Uh, to, for for uh, Nathaniel, because that, my boy. Joe, uh, for, the, for the sake of flavor. Nine points back. <laughs> For the sake of flavor, can I use what could possibly be almost like a syringe for healing? Sure, I'll say you put <laughs> you uh, you have made a makeshift <laughs> potion that you have yeah. put in a syringe that you jab into your arm. No, I no. This is for Luna. Oh, into the wound. For, well, I guess it depends on <laughs> how much how well Luna can take needles. Uh, she's gonna, if you're coming at her with a needle, she's gonna maybe punch you <laughs> um, or try to she's exhausted at this point so she probably tries and misses hold on what are or, you doing with that this will heal, heal your wounds you know could you let me know that before coming at me with something sharp do i look and, like a harmacist to you I no you, you look like an idiot sometimes but you know it kind of varies no i, no, I said were... do i look like a harm assist to you she just jams Jokes. her wrist out at you, like, get it over with and don't ever make a pun like that again or I will break your nose. Jokes oh, aside, no, I... we need to worry about where B Thorn went. Apparently he's able to track Renee's father, but he wasn't able to track us. What's the difference? He is a necromancer. Maybe there's a way to track that kind of magic. It's the fucking book. I told you to the burn book, it. I would be, if, if it was the book, I would be dead by now. No, but it wasn't listen... The book. There has to it has to be some sort of some sort of magic that he has maybe that they have maybe it, it, it's some sort of tracking spell maybe they can just detect innate necromatic magic oh, I mean, you maybe. have a few spells that that's can my do that that's my current guess at least oh, we well put into consideration that mister who where the fuck did he go by the way <sighs> looking at go. renee i let him go Another problem for another time. Exactly. Oh, God, he's going to be so upset. Anyways. Uh, What's Mr. Popping out of your body and talking to us? I don't. I understand he's not exactly the most kindest of minds right now. And no, he's to not. Be honest, to be honest, let's try and ignore that for a hot second. Then well, don't bring him up. <laughs> It's hard, it's hard to not bring him up when he's always, you know, in the back of my mind. What are I'm trying to say is... Are we stopping for camp? How much further until Chester City? You can make them before nightfall. Also, just a friendly reminder that you did get three notes from, uh, right. from Luke. Mm -hmm. Let's make our way to Chester City. By the time we arrive, it will be night, but we will be able to get room and board. Until then, <laughs> this was not a total loss. In fact, I wouldn't say that this was a loss at all. Not only do we potentially have a spy although i don't exactly i don't he's not a vote of confidence but and i pull out the notes we have even more pages and then i'm gonna start reading okay uh... i expect very cute art from child <laughs> maharians let's go kid maharians more abby doodles please so, because uh, because you do see all of them and you do see their dates, so you I assume you're going to read them in the chronological order. No, I'm gonna fuck them up and read the middle one first. All right, great. <laughs> no, all right. So let's see let's see the first one. So here's the, the first one. It's kind of a large one. 
Oh, Jesus oh, Christ. Oh, goddamn. Yeah, that's a lot. Oh, there's uh, no doodles on this one. There's so much. All right. Year 138, Summer. Chandrel has successfully been elected as the new Viscount. She shot down my proposal for continuing the necrotic research team. Of course, that bitch did. She doesn't even know the first thing about necromancy. All that work, you we were so close to a breakthrough. And she shuts me down. Eternal sake, necromancy's outlawed now, so you don't even need to worry about another uprising. Just let me do my damn job. You can see the paper. Uh, I'm just going to read the little descriptive thing. The paper seems to have a bit of wear, like the pages have been stretched and minimally torn. There is a huge quantity of notes and hypotheses on true resurrection. About half are scratched out. The once neat handwriting has res uh, slightly devolved into scrawling. And oh, this was Kara, shit. right? We can assume. Is it the well, same yeah, this, handwriting? This is, this is yeah. Kara's handwriting. Yes, yes, this is Kara's handwriting. It does look similar to the previous notes. Do you see what I'm missing here? The artwork. Exactly. No sign of Abigail. Let me read the next one. I guess this really has become a diary, hasn't it? I've left the city, and soon I'll leave the kingdom. If they won't let me continue my walk with proper funding and safety parameters, then it's on their heads if things go wrong. You can't stop progress. There are some notes on basic spells, as if she's trying to recall information or practice lost knowledge from pr previous pages. Her handwriting and sketches have devolved ever further and are barely legible. And the last one. Year 172. Oh, the, the date of the middle one. It's two years after the first. And this is 32 years after that. Elves. I've successfully recruited some lackeys who are desperate. With their help, I was able to discover a new ability. Siphoning. The user draws arcane power out of a target that possesses necrotic abilities. Though it enhances the user's necrotic abilities, it's unfor it unfortunately leaves the target in a catatonic state, or in some cases, dead. With these further enhanced abilities, the now siphon-powered user is able to cast further advanced necrotic spells yet unrecorded. This may be the secret to true resurrection. Unfortunately, siphoning does, se does seem to take a heavy toll on the user. Both physically and mentally, it is only able to be performed by one skilled in necromancy. It also serves as decent punishment for insubordination. And there are three siphoning subjects. Well, three notes, but at least five subjects. The first one, a tiefling, age 32. Subject could use only low-level necromancy. Gave a relatively short and small power boost. Subject comatose, scheduled euthanation, euthanization for three days hence. And the next one was an elf of age 124, one of my mages whose insubordination has become intolerable. Gave a sizable boost, though the duration was short. Subject died immediately. Human, age 17. Subject showed talent for magic and displayed interest in necromancy. Gave a small boost, but duration was notably longer. Subject catatonic. We are attempting to restore the subject's mind. Holy shit. It seemed... She's had literally a century to start planning around this. Yes, she's been very busy. It'll be unfortunate when all of that work is dealt with in a week. But this... This is too much. There are at least five subjects here. I didn't see any more on the other pages, but that means that there were two that behaved differently. And almost certainly more. Perhaps that's what Thorn is. But then, of course, why would Chandrel have told us to just avoid the person? I don't know. Chandrel could have lied. Oh, I don't doubt that she's not telling us something, but that... Hmm. It doesn't matter. Unfortunately... This only confirms what we had already believed to be true. The death of Abigail spurned on some un unwellness in Kara's mind, and it went on for multiple decades. Apparently she was ousted in year 140, but it took 32 years of silent research, and Chandrel did nothing. Necromancy was already illegal, 
These words prove it. But she didn't do anything about it. Not until now. Why now? Why fourteen days? I don't know. Why fourteen days? And why alive? Chandral Maharian plans on siphoning Kara Maharian's necromantic power. How do you know that? I've been asking myself this question. Why alive? And why so soon? I, I still thought, don't understand the timing. I thought the... I mean, I could imagine asking to have her alive could just have something to do with the fact they're sisters, but the time constraint is strange. Does Chandra... Uh, does Chandra Maharian seem like the sentimental type? I don't know. I would never met her. You met her it was the first time I met her. I mean... I mean, to be fair, in the notes, Chandrel never came up before. It was always Abigail. And Chandrel had written in, but only barely, only briefly. And this strain between the two of them. <clears throat> this is my walking theory right now. I, I don't have understand. a theory. I, I think Chandrel is trying to eliminate her sister in order to at least contain the power itself. True resurrection. Exactly. No. If yes, it's if she has if she has the ability to cast something that is beyond any of our comprehension. Could you imagine just for a moment if you had the ability to command someone to either never do it or do it under specific circumstances? We are talking about someone that has been planning for nearly a century to either only once bring back their sister or someone that is beloved or even prolong someone's life way beyond what is supposed to be. Just let me do my damn job. Was well, the last you're... line of the... What? No, not you. That was the last oh. line of the first note. That, that means that, for a time at least, Kara Maharian had been working under, under the crown, alongside it, as a researcher of necromancy. Even though it was discontinued, it still existed. Plural that selection means, is a fairy tale. What I mean is, Chandrel would have had Kara's notes, her research notes. At least for a time. Maybe not these ones, but copies. And if it requires... If siphoning will increase a necromancer's power exponentially, then that would be the secret of true resurrection. I don't know what has happened between them in the last 60 to... In this last century. But it all ends with Abigail. I'm sure of that. Then what do you propose we do? Exactly what we were sent out to do. We capture Kara Maharian, and we bring her back to Chandrel. It's fine by me. I'll be happy when all of this is over. We just have to figure out whether or not we're actually leading her to something that will end this, or something that will make it far worse. In addition, while in Chester City, it may behoove us to make copies of these notes. I have a feeling that we're going to need them. Sure. I can copy down the notes. Good. Um, and then we- I have a friend in Chester City. I know someone that will be able to help us. Ah, are you using your I know somebody? I used it last session, it's I, the same yep. guy! <laughs> Which reminds me, once we're inside of Chester City, we are back underneath the watchful gaze of the crown. Now, oh, as oh, we- have, Yes, now as we have been traveling together, I have allowed a certain amount of leeway. Especially regarding mirth. That debacle can't happen again. And to ensure that it doesn't, you must understand. You are vigilantes and monster hunters. But I am an official authority. What happens inside of this city is not just going to reflect poorly on you. It will reflect poorly on an institution that means to keep people safe. It is for that reason that if... We find ourselves in the case where the law tangles our mission. I'm going to ask 
strongly that you defer to me. Sure. I make a habit of behaving myself in Chester City. Not a lot of people are going to hire you if you don't listen to the authority around you. If we get into something, I'll let you do the talking. Good. In that case... Actually, I'm going to look over to Enoch and just wait for a response from him. You know who you're talking to, right? That is why I have to have this conversation. Oh, shit. Okay. I'll try and talk to some people within the Order of the Gear, but as far as legality goes, we'll keep things as tame as possible. There are some people I can confer to. Just because you think you're the only one with responsibilities doesn't mean that you're right. You right, are a not. vigilante. In the eyes of Chandrell, yes. Okay, we're not having that argument now, right? This is not an argument, I'm just stating the facts. Hmm. The difficulties of working with other people. Agreed. Well, oh my god. Let's go to Chester City then. No, if no, I'm not I don't going... know about you, but I could use a drink. Yes, if I'm not going to get acceptance from you, then do not expect any from me. Renee, I know a decent bar in Chester City. All right, and you start I know to a head good there. Place to eat. You guys begin to head there with uh, sore feet and blood-stained clothes for some of you, no. and you find yourselves uh, near the gates. However, before you're able to approach it you see a humanoid rushing towards you at sprinting speed, an air genasi man, and he appears to be in ragged clothes and stumbling in his step, and he sees you all, and he slows down a bit. Oh, God's adventurous, and my day could get any worse. And you hear shouting behind him, there he is! And a small mob of, mob of people raising a ruckus behind him. Whoa, 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 what are you running from? What's going on? Listen, he reaches into his pocket and pulls out a bag. You like coin, right? I'll pay you anything to keep them from murdering me, please. Why do they want to hurt you? And he just runs to hide behind you, and the mob gets closer, and they yell out, Cultist filth! Corpse mage! Necro shite! God fucking damn it. All right, no. let me see the guy's arms. <laughs> All right, you, you look at him. You look at his arms. You do indeed see black veins. Although some of it seems to have tried to be covered up with mud. Wait. Uh. Wait. Can I see that gold pouch of yours? Are you going to protect me from the mob? That depends on how heavy it is. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm with him on this. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Roll me a persuasion check. Uh, that's not super good, but hey, we are where we are. <sighs> I'd have better luck baseball. in the woods. And he starts to run, but stops as you hear uh, a whistle. And the crowd stops. And out from behind the crowd rides uh, an elven woman in Belkinus official guard wear on horseback, shouting at the crowd, Stay your hand, citizens! Official royal guard business! Back off! Back! And she stops, and her gaze falls on you and Luna. And she Excuse raises her me? eyebrows. Excuse me? Luna. This better not be. This better not and, be. And uh, I'm going to show it in the VC, <laughs> but not VC. And I'm going to show it to the chat. Oh, real you quick. Oh, son of a Oh, oh my God. God. There it's she the, is. It's the Catwoman from Treasure Planet. Yes. <laughs> son of a. Also, I don't much care for this crew you hired. Just to make sure, while this is happening, uh, what's his face was saying that he was running towards the woods. Uh, has he continued to run towards the woods? No, he stopped at the whistle. Fantastic! Ah. I'm gonna turn. I'm like gonna lean my arm back and snap at him and cast sleep. <laughs> All right. Um, nice. Sleep Gen coming in. I'm pretty in sure Genasi aren't immune to sleep. They no, are not. Genasi sleep. They're not immune to it, though. Uh, so, immune. yeah, show me sleep. Show me if it's more than his HP. Oh, yeah, easily more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, <I'm>... he just, <laughs> onto the, like, just, eats it. <laughs> yeah. Just continuing to, to look at this woman on horseback. My arm reaches back, snap. Psh, I hear a, psh, and that's it. She, she uh, looks to you, Luna. Just a brief moment, please. She, Luna, Luna has been looking pretty. 
agitated, I guess, this entire time, but she just looks pissed now. Please, everyone, I need you all to return to your business. I'm taking this man into custody. And you can hear the crowd continues to shout at this. Oi, she's protecting the necromancer! Sympathizer! I am doing no, I am doing Nathaniel. no such thing. Nathaniel, man, you got one? They're, they're, shouting, they're shouting at her, not you, Luna. Mm. Oh, okay. Then that I don't fuck at The royal <laughs> god is in what? league with the spine of death! What's Renee saying? Maneuver one? Out just like game. walks up, just walks up. Basically what we were going to do in Ruggawood. In Ruggawood? Remember when we first walked in and we were like, let's pretend we're hot shit? I, oh, I remember this, right, Maneuver Thanks. one. I know what yeah, this maneuver is. One. Okay, fantastic. Yes, I remember this now. <laughs> I'm the one who came one. up with this, why don't I remember? Anyway, all right, fantastic. <laughs> yeah, uh, I will nod, it. I will nod, Maneuver one. Yep. And we, I will take, yep, we will both take some steps forward and we will shout out to the crowd. Hello. The crowd goes worry, a little quiet. Do not worry, everyone. The necromancer will see proper justice. After all, what would the witch take away wizard be without dealing with a couple of necromancers every once in a while? We are here for you. You are now in the presence of the grand witch taker wizard. All necromancers in this city will be found and brought to justice. So say I, the witch taker wizard. And with Enoch that, I'm is going currently to... <laughs> face palming. Please, if you could, come to me with all of your problems, and I'm sure that they can be solved. But of course. And we begin with this one, the necromancer that you have chased. We have caught it, whereas the town guard, as helpful as they are, could not. Please, please extend your invitation. Extend your invitation of the city to us. We would love to receive you. And I'm going to cast uh, enthralling performance. So oh what I'd like to do is I'd like to I'd like to select <laughs> the four people within the crowd that seem to be the most riled up. And what it does is this was what I used in the very first session. Uh, uh -huh. They have to make a wisdom save, uh, and if they fail, then they are enraptured by me. If they succeed, they have no guess. Uh, they have no suspicion that I even tried to cast a spell on them, ah. or it wasn't a spell that I tried to charm them in any way. Okay, and three of them fail. Yeah! Oh, hooray! Oh, nice. They're nice. like, wait, yes, the witch taker. And a few of the crowd who have not been charmed as well recognize that name. Wait a minute, yeah, the witch taker. Yeah, yeah, some of them start to clap. However, one orc man steps up. Yeah, I remember you. I had a rumor that you've been hiring necromancers yourself. Filthy, valacious rumors. If I were hiring necromancers, would I be putting them to the sword? Aye! And that's what we plan to do, right? Aye! And they all start to cheer, except like a few of them are like, no, 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 listen to the witch taker. But. Oh no. <laughs> a few of them, now there's infighting in the crowd. Well, well at least they're Pushing, distracted. shoving. No, well, that's better. <laughs> <laughs> I see this as an absolute at win. At least since they're distracted, <laughs> I slowly want to start moving closer to Chester. <laughs> I think I. Could go for a slice right when you now. do the horse ridden woman steps in front of you now hold on just a minute damn it i don't know who you are <laughs> but i need to deal with this thank you witch taker oh you're welcome of course oh, she, he's, the body he seems to really have it under average. control before <sighs> luna not no she reaches into her pocket and tosses a crystal at it to and down beams a light and out from the light is an ethereal presence of Viscount Chandromi Harian. Oh, fuck! Ma'am! Ma'am! <laughs> we were just talking about she might be up to some sketchy shit. Whatever happens, we gotta make sure we're nice. <gasps> oh, Jesus. And, uh, let me just. Do Those do eyes. Mm. Oh, oh, God. Delicious. I can't get over and how good Chandrel's art is. Right. Chandrel's so pretty. Chandrel really steps is. forward without, without having to turn. She's already facing the crowd. And she hands behind her back, and the mob goes silent near immediately. And she begins to speak. You can hear that her voice is very echoey, and she had cast thaumaturgy on herself as well. So her voice booms. I see you are after this necromancer's head. Tell me, people of Chester City. Do you wish for this criminal to be at the mercy of the public? And the crowd aggressively cheers and calls for blood. Or would you rather he answer for his crimes 
Pay for it in a manner that he will be held responsible for the mending and repair of the damage he has done. And the crowd starts to pipe down a bit, and whispers fill the air. And plenty of them take a moment, and sincerely start to reconsider. God damn it, I want what she has. <laughs> she simply lowers her head a bit. The royal guard will be taking this necromancer into custody, so that justice can be served in a way that benefits the kingdom on a larger scale, rather than one that satiates your bloodlust. Heed the laws, people of Chester, lest you become as savage as you despise the necromancers to be. We must stand as a united people to heal and improve the kingdom that is befitting of the name of Belkanus. And the crowd kind of starts to disperse. And the, the orc takes a few steps forward and spits in the general direction of the genasi on the ground. Coffin oh, worm. God. And before he starts to head back with the crowd. The image of Chandrel turns to face Cena. Uh, and she, Cena, uh, the, sorry, the, the horse-ridden woman. Uh, she lowers her shoulders and sighs. <sighs> Thank you, Lady Viscount. And Chandrel nods. She takes a brief look at you all without a change of expression, and her eyes scan you up and down and gives you what's clearly a forced smile. I wish you welcome to Chester City, travelers. I hope this encounter did not discourage you. Oh, of course not. It would not bother us at all. Quite the contrary. It is so wonderful to finally meet you in person. Indeed. She turns to the horse-ridden woman. She nods and walks off as her image dissipates. And you can see the elven woman drop down and start to pick up the Janasi man and put him on her horse. Oh, the pouch is ours. Ugh. Adventures. Fine. She throws it to you. Thank you, Miss... Um... What should we call you? You may call me Sina. Okay. And then looks over at Luna. What would you like us to call her? I don't care. Okay. She looks to you, Luna, uh, and starts to ride off a little bit, but stops. Listen, Luna, I need to attend to some matters uh, of this man's incarceration, but afterwards I do want a moment to catch up with you. It's been a spell. See oh, if I shit, have the time. y'all have history. Of course, uh, fret not. The royal guard has a good eye on who goes in and out of the city since... Oh, yes, yes. I'm very confident in the royal guard. And I start walking away. Good luck with that one. <laughs> she uh, just looks to the rest of you all. Um, here, uh, this will help you get around the city. And she hands it to whoever will take it. Uh, a piece of parchment. Ooh, what does it say? Uh, it no. simply has a small little painting and the words Chester City written in some uh, elegant script. It's a brochure. Uh, perhaps there are other things you would like to do while you're here, and it will help you navigate the city. Oh, goodness, this really is so rusty. Thank you. <laughs> it's appreciated. Appreciated. Of course. And she rides off towards a different direction. You assume the barracks. And you guys... Finally arrive. Oh what the fuck? Oh, yeah. yeah. What is this? Oh, shit. In oh Chester City. <gasps> oh my it's god. It's the carriage. Oh, oh this is jazz, bitch. man. Oh, and this is jazz. So good. And this, is this so I think, is a good jazz. stopping sorry. point. I gotta say, it's sorry. Oh, it's it looks like shit. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is a good stopping point. Uh, Joe, the art. can you send me this, please, so yep. I can be the background on my desktop? Once oh again, this God. art was yes, done by the wonderful Angel, who does all the background art. Oh uh, my God, Angel, I love you. Oh, oh my God. God. And uh, yeah, I can't wait for you guys to explore Chester City. This is gonna be a fun, th fun time. Oh my God, sick. <laughs>